Welcome to H2K Infosys. H2K Infosys is a e-verify business based in Atlanta, Georgia, United States. We provide 100% job-oriented, instructor-led, face-to-face, true live online software training programs. It also includes access to Cloud Test Lab with software tools. We provide live project for you to work on. We also provide assistance with mock interviews, resume preparation and review, and job placement assistance. H2K Infosys is trusted by so many students across the world. H2K Infosys provides world-class services in IT training with real-time project work for corporates and individuals, special IT training for MS students in the United States, software design development, QA manual and automation, performance testing and maintenance, IT staff augmentation, job placement assistance and tech support. More clear in your keyword view. Do you see here? Two actions are created. Earlier there was a single action, but do you see? Now there are two actions. One is logout, another is login. Save it. Now is it possible for me to import? If I call login, only login is going to come. If I say logout, only the logout is going to be implemented, imported. Okay, this much is clear. Okay, now let's cross verify our design. Have we done everything or not? So here in the file one, I have recorded the login and logout. Split is done. This is fine. I should make this logout as reusable. How do I make it reusable? Take this logout, right click, action properties. But since you are using the QTP 11, for you, by default all the actions will be reusable you need not make it reusable by default it will be reusable if you are using your QTP 11 but mine is QTP 9.2 so I should manually make it reusable so there your one step will be lesser than mine you need not make it reusable because they are already reusable by default okay so I have to go to action properties then do you see there is a checkbox over here which says reusable action. Click it. OK. It is giving me some message. That's fine. Click on OK. Do you see there are rounded arrow marks appearing? If you go to your QTP 11, if you take a new file, then this will be appearing by default. Means what? Your QTP has already made the action as reusable. OK. Another thing you observe here. Earlier in the data table, we had the global and then we had the action. Okay. There were only two data tables over here. Two sheets. But currently, there are three sheets. What does this mean? It means that for every action, there is going to be one local sheet or one data sheet that is going to be assigned. One is a global. Global means what? Common to both login and logout. It is a common sheet. Okay. And the other sheets which are exclusively for login and logout. We will discover more about this, you know, data table in the future. For now, you just understand that one sheet for one action will be present. And one will be common for both the actions or common for the entire test file. Is this clear how to make this uh, logout as reusable? I need not make login as a reusable, okay? In fact, you should go to login and then uncheck it and make it non-reusable, okay? This is done. Our file number one, that is Neha, is done. Next what? We got to create Lavanya. Go to new file. Okay, so this is another file which we have created, a new file. Okay. 
and here we will be recording what tell me what are we, we going to record here what should we record as per our plan we had planned here something right what are we going to record here yes exactly open order let's record the open order but i should record it from the mid so what i do first i keep my application open ready to be recorded i don't want to record it right from the beginning so login and logout also i do not want to record okay this is the flight reservation that i have opened now okay i want to only record this open order so from here i will put my qtp into the record mode because i do not want to record all the steps okay go to the file res uh, flight reservation file open order select the order number and enter let's say i want to open order number 5 click on okay and this is done i just wanted this much open the order is it clear everybody what i did i have recorded only open order i did not record login neither i recorded logout why did not i do it because i will be calling from the file number 1 that is from neha let's save this file go to file save it as i'm saving it so this is saved what next i should call here i have to call login here i should call logout if we call this much we are done okay no madhu we need not give it why should we give system util dot run because it's already recorded in the login okay activate is nothing but see it is minimized if i click on this this itself is activate okay what is activate it will be minimized here click on this it is getting activated okay fine now we will call the login and your system util dot run everything is present in the you did not close the open order file why should i close it basically the logout is already recorded for me why should i again take the pain of closing it i need not close it i need not record that step okay because it is recorded in the login i hope you are understanding see here i am not having all the system util dot run agent name everything because that is all present in our, in my login here i have you know the system util dot run is there enter the user id password everything is there that complete thing i'm going to import it here and in this lower part okay wherein you know i have to close the application why should i close it here i have the logout right i'm going to import the logout here which is going to do it for me followed everybody that is why i'm not you know closing it fine now let's see how to import it there is another button over here which is similar to your action button which is beside your split button and there is one small arrow mark here do you see a very small arrow mark i don't know why they give so small arrow marks it is so difficult you know to locate it no doubt you know if we know it we can see but to show anybody and to tell anybody you know it is so difficult i don't know why they make it so small anyways i got to click on the small arrow mark over here okay then we have call to copy and call to existing leave the call new action because i am not creating a new action over here my actions are already created so i will go for call to copy call to existing tell me for login which one i am going to use for login which one is it copy or call to existing what did we decide yes we had decided call to copy can i interchange this can i interchange call to copy and call to existing yes of course 
why I am doing it here in uh, you know both in the same file I just want to do the demonstration to you okay if I am able to demonstrate both the things in the same example so you will understand better that's why I am implementing otherwise both of them you can make call to copy both of them you can make call to existing if you want you can interchange it nobody is going to stop you just that I want to demonstrate both the features in the same example okay so that you are able to make the difference I am making one as call to copy another as call to existing okay but there is no rule as such okay clear everybody fine so for the first one call to copy go here call to copy then you have to tell from which test I want to copy because we had so many tests right we have created in our previous batch and then previous classes so many tests have got created now I got to first select the test click on these three dots again you know so small dots which is a file from where I want to call Neha and then open okay then here you have both the login and logout which one do I want to you know call login right yes I select login then select the file from where you want to call and then select the action from which you want to call okay then I will put it at the end later I can make the arrangement also I will say at the end of the test click on ok did it add yes it added do you see here copy of login is added here it is not much clear okay both of them are here action one is there and then copy of login also is there right but it is more clear in our keyword view if I click here in the keyword view do you see copy of login is there action one also is there okay no problem Lavanya I will show you how to you know arrange it we will learn something more okay if we create some errors if we create that defects it is good you know we can learn something more always okay now it is you know not fair you know that we are giving so nice name for this login but this one we have kept it as action one don't you think we have to rename it if we give it as you know like open order it would look much better correct it makes some sense so same thing right click go to the action properties instead of action one we will make it as open order type the name okay let's rename it click on ok do you see we have given the name to it open order and then we have the copy of login clear everybody open order and copy of login what next what should I import now logout exactly okay so again I go to this tiny arrow mark over here what is the type that I have to use call to existing again same thing dots over here click on it from where should I call Neha where is Neha she is here okay oh only logout is appearing why login is not appearing here we had two actions right login and logout were there in Neha file where is another one why it is showing only logout no not because it is already copied okay what if it is already copied its copy right because this is the reusable action if we have to use the call to existing then it should be reusable login is not reusable that's why it is not showing us here are you clear okay it is not showing because here logout is the only action which is reusable login is not reusable so we cannot use a call to existing there this also I'll put it as end okay so if you look at this drop box over here we have copy of login open order and we have one external action okay do you see we have one external action over here which is logout 
yes lavanya you can make a login also reusable go to neha file ask her to make it reusable ask the permission from her she will give it to you okay but I, it is not required for me why should i ask her correct so many of our students have given testimonials on how our training programs are you will find them on kudzu.com and on our website h2kinfosys.com on our website h2kinfosys.com you will also find more detailed information on who we are the courses that we offer what each course covers also if you're interested in a demo program please register on our home page on the left hand side just give us more information about yourself and we will send you a link for a demo class the demo class is absolutely free experience our commitment by just attending an orientation workshop at no cost our team of faculty and advisors are here to guide you with the right information if you still have more questions please feel free to call us call us at 770 Seven 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 one two six nine. This is a United States number. If you're calling from the UK, call us at zero two zero three three seven one seven six one five. You can also email us at training at h two k infosys dot com or h two k infosys at gmail dot com. Thank you for watching our videos. We wish you a great career in information technology.